Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Poke Suit Channel. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I know I did. I feel thankful that I got to spend it with some people that I love and like and uh, got a good meal. And you know, we all have a lot to be thankful for. So, you know, life just throws us little curves from time to time. Uh, I recently was throwing a little curve. I got hurt lifting some weights and stuff and carrying some heavy musical equipment. But I'll be all right and I'm getting better and uh, we'll get it all taken care of, right? So... Just got to stay positive no matter what. Keep the faith. But I'm, I'm blessed to be very healthy and I'm happy about that. So, hey, I want to talk a little bit about developing right hand technique. And I'm not very warmed up and that's probably a good thing. So, like I used to be a drummer and there's I think 23 or 26 drum rudiments. And you, you, it would really help if you create your own guitar rudiments. Make that part of your, of your practice to develop your right hand. Let me give you some examples here like... Uh, Just repeat that. Get the accent. Bam. Bam. And then I'll vary it. And if you're even just playing this slow, you're building technique as long as you're playing clean. Now I like to mute because it makes it a little bit harder. See, that's because you're building new neural pathways. You're kind of integrating with your nervous system. So when I do this, then I twice, right? Next time three. On some level, that's kind of keying into my subconscious mind. I'm developing a kind of a memory of that and a neural pathway. And one of these days, I'll, like I, I've been working on my, even though I'm already a pretty accomplished picker, I've been working on my picking again lately, kind of using Al Dimiola's inspiration. And last night I, I warmed up for about an hour and I, I did some licks that were, you know, kind of a breakthrough for me. And, and it's exciting, you know, at 63, I feel like I'm still, you know, developing my right hand, which is exciting. And that's part of being an artist is you're always improving. Even if you're a great player, even if you're a virtuoso player, you're still improving and growing. And that's that's what makes music and art so fun. So this is a good way to do it too, like vary things like here and then twice. Now three. See that? So the accent, bam, bam, bam. Patterns like that, little patterns like... Double triplets are great. Demiola loves double triplets and, and working those on one string, which he suggests too, is so good for you. Like, get the accent. Okay, and you can just do it on any string, any pattern, any scale, doesn't really matter. Okay, also what I shared before of doing seven and then five. This is so good for you. I think what a lot of people don't realize is that playing slow and clean, you're not just playing slow and clean, you're actually building technique that you can use in the future. So if I go... Every time I play that clean, I'm building technique. Every time I do double triplets. Especially when you place the accent. Bam. So you kind of want to make up your own little, you know, guitar rudiments, you know. So uh, 
that way you, you, you train. And the right hand needs a lot of work to develop. Most players are a little weak in the left, a little weak in the right. The right hand takes a lot of development, but if you work on the right hand, like maybe an hour a day, just, you know, and mix it up, Double triplets are really good for your right hand. Accent, bam, bam. First note of the sixth. Hear that? Bam. Most important thing in, de in developing your right hand is not to be results oriented, not to be outcome oriented, but to practice slow and clean. Never play faster than you can play clean. If you're just doing this, that's unreal, okay? Even that speed. It takes me about an hour to warm up, and I was really warmed up last night, and I hit some licks that was a new level for me, and it was so exciting because I've been working on my picking again for a couple hours a day, kind of inspired by Demiola. And uh, it's just that's what's so cool about music, you know, if, if you uh, just continue to, to grow and evolve and learn and, and work on areas of your playing, even if you're already a great player even if you're a virtuoso level player there's always areas you can work on and improve so that's a very very powerful thing to do so again no matter what level you're playing is you know double triplets you gotta fall in love with repetition and fall in love with it might not always be exciting when you practice but if you keep in mind where well, it's raining here I live down by the ocean and we've got a lot of rain today it's good but if you keep in mind that every time you play slow and clean, no matter what you do, you're building technique. And I do mean every time you play that. So if you only have a half hour a day to practice, you know, and the muting is good because the muting makes your pick work a little harder. So it builds technique, it gets the blood vessels going in your, in your, in your right hand and your wrist and your arm and everything, so that's real good to do. Accent. Don't let the simplicity of this fool you. I mean, I think that's one of the things a lot of people don't realize is the simplicity is very, very, very powerful, just like my guitar ladder system. By not thinking about all these chordal studies that you're going to do, by not thinking about them and just playing them, they roll into your subconscious mind. The, the, the science of neuroplasticity kicks in. They've actually proven it's like an open switch and a safe switch in your subconscious mind. There's a lot to say for simplicity and simplicity of approach, and that simplicity ends up being very, very powerful and producing massive results. So again, and this I can't say enough about this, this exercise here. This is so powerful. Seven. Double triplets. That's how you want to practice. Now, sometimes I'll get really intervallic. Do something like that. Or maybe diminish. Whoops. There's a diminish. And, you know practice with color but I I think what I'm trying to emphasize right now is is the power of repetition and the power of simplicity and the power of playing slow and clean every time you do this you're building technique you never want to try to blaze through this stuff but if you practice clean and slow you're you, one of these days you just blaze through it you know so and that the thing with the seven and the fives this is so good for you
double triplets. Now sometimes you can just let your hand float and do it. Doing both is very, very powerful. So maybe sometimes do it like that, other times mute. You have to work a little harder, it builds. What happens with acoustic is you start building technique and acoustic, you get bounce off the strings and, and sometimes it's hard to explain, but it's almost like ice skating downhill, you know? But you gotta put the work in, you gotta put the time in, you gotta fall in love with repetition because repetition is the mother of mastery. And you can do those double triplets on one string. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. So everybody, take care, stay positive, keep the faith, and uh, trust the universe. Ciao. Thank you very much.